Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Councilmember Steve Levin, Chair of the Council's Committee on General Welfare. Today we are here to vote on proposed intro 153B, aimed at improving circumstances for those residing in three-quarters houses. Um, I'd like to thank the colleagues that are here, Councilmember Brad Lander, Councilmember Antonio Reynoso, Councilmember Richie Torres, Councilmember Mark Traeger, Councilmember Vanessa Gibson. Uh, so I'll keep this uh, brief. Three-quarters houses are typically one or two family homes or larger apartment buildings run by operators who rent beds to single adults. These entities are run by operators who present themselves as programs, often as a place for individuals ed exiting correctional facilities, shelters, and residential substance abuse treatment facilities. However, often these places provide no services in-house, are unregulated, and generally are illegal. Uh, these facilities often have multiple building code violations and are dangerously overcrowded. And although there are many issues with three quarters houses, these are not the only alternatives to sh these are the only alternatives to the street or shelter for many individuals. In a survey conducted of residents in three quarters houses, individuals reporting reported that despite the problems associated with three quarters houses, they are preferable to living in shelter or on the street. And while the exact number is not unknown, it's been estimated that over 10,000 individuals reside in three quarters houses. Uh, rents in three quarters houses are um, typically tied to a resident's public assistance rent levels, uh, which for those who receive the public assistance shelter allowance is state by the set set by the state at just two hundred and fifteen dollars a month. Um, and that schedule has been unchanged since 1988. Um, in 2015, an interagency task force was convened by the mayor to target known and suspected three quarters houses to inspect and relocate tenants. Uh, in 2017, the council passed local law 13, I think it was the sponsor was Councilmember Torres, is that right? Yes. Um, requiring the Mayor's Office of Operations to report on the progress of the task force on a quarterly basis. This legislation requiring this reported, reporting sunset on January 1st of this year. Today we are voting on a piece of legislation that I'm sponsoring, proposed intro 153B, which would codify the three quarters housing task force and continue the quarterly reports. Um, uh, we don't want to pull the rug out from anybody, but we want to ensure that people are housed, um, but also we cannot tolerate bad actors who are taking advantage of vulnerable populations. Finding housing is a difficult undertaking for most New Yorkers. Um, for people that are experiencing um, homelessness, this is an, uh, often nearly impossible. Three-quarters housing thus becomes an option. So we in the council work with the administration need to ensure that we uh, build a fully legal and appropriate infrastructure that would be effective altern alternative to the unregulated and illegal systems that are in place today. I'd like to thank council staff for their work on this today. Senior counsel Minta Kilowan, senior policy analyst Crystal Pond, senior policy analyst Natalie Omery, uh, financial analyst Julia Harmis. Um, I'd also like to thank my legislative director Elizabeth Adams and chief of staff Jonathan Boucher and, um, and obviously all of the, my colleagues who have put work into this issue over the years, um, uh, in particular council member Torres. Um, is there any members that wish to have any remarks? Okay, seeing that, I will ask William Martin to the clerk to committee call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on general welfare, introduction 153B, Chair Levin. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Lander. Aye. Reynosto. Aye. Torres. Aye. Traeger. Aye. My vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Okay. All right. I think this hearing is adjourned. Thanks. Good job.